Hi, it's great that it's you watching this video. In this video I will talk about FireRender for GPU and please keep in mind I'm showing you a product that's under development right now. So features you see might change or might not show up in the final product. So in this video I'm going to talk about material and how easy it is to set up a material with FireRender for GPU. And the same is true for camera setup, light setup, lighting, illumination and all these things you usually do every day. So I would like to show you this scene I have loaded here already. That's a standard, pretty standard 3D Studio Max scene. One object in here it has, let me just bring up the stats, 417,000 polygons and we are going to use this object, this model here. It's a CAD model, so it's a mechanical engineering model. It has these cogwheels, that's a planetary uh, gear, and we are going to adjust a little bit the materials and things here. When it gets to adjusting materials and settings, we're talking here about Fire Render for GPU in active shade mode. Active shade means you can interactively adjust all the materials, lights and, and settings of an object. I'm going to show you how you can call active shade. There's two methods right now. You can go into the extended viewports and just activate active shade and in a few seconds you will see your full rendering in here. So what you see here is the rendering with all the material properties, shadows, soft shadows, that's a GI rendering, we have a daylight system going on here. So we will have interactive real-time uh, materials happening here. So, And let me just uh, zoom in here a little bit. And as you can see, we're talking here about blurry reflections. I cho chose um, this material because usually it takes a long time to render nice blurry reflections and you can see in a matter of seconds or less than seconds we can have nice blurry reflections going on here. And the great thing here is keep in mind Fire Render for GPU Active Shade means it's Fire Render for GPU. There's no difference in rendering. So it's not an extra renderer where you after the fact have to redo all your materials again. It's one thing. And that's the big advantage of Fire Render for GPU. And as you can see, we can adjust the camera in real time. We can go in here, adjust our viewport in real time, and we can choose whatever material we want. There's also another way to use Active Shade. I'm just going to show you the other way how you can choose uh, Active Shade. And that would be just right from the uh, uh, render dialog, where you would choose the Active Shade as your renderer. And you would just click the button and then, uh, let me just move over uh, the render setup dialog, and then you would just see your rendering in here. And remember, this is a frame buffer, yes, but this is still a live rendering, a real-time connected rendering. And uh, whatever you do in your viewports, it will be reflected in real-time in here. So whatever we adjust here, if we move in, out, you will see it happening in your frame buffer. The cool thing about the frame buffers, instead of our in-viewport rendering, is you can move this window to another screen and just keep it sitting there and while you model in 3D Studio Max with your uh, viewports you can uh, adjust materials, objects, whatever you want and you always get your rendering updated in real time. So let, let's do that just for the uh, light setup and I'm going to just flip through the position of our sun uh, by changing the hour of the day so as you can see on the shadows and, and illumination, uh, I can bring the light to um, when the sun is rising and on the other hand we can go through the day, light moves over, you can see it nice here in the shadows uh, until sunset. So let's just uh, pick this magic hour here where we have this nice sunset going on and illuminating our nice blurry material. 
And uh, the next thing I wanted to show you how easy it is to work with such scenes. So let me just bring up the material editor. And as you can see, we, we are using a standard fire render architecture material. And uh, I'm just going to uh, here, you might know we have the settings here where we can pick a material. Um, I will just go and pick a material here. So let's say I want to change all the cockwheels into a glass object. Let me just change that to a physical glass. And uh, you will see in a second uh, that we get a really nice glass effect where we can adjust our viewport. Let me just uh, move a little bit and let's just move the sun as well a little bit and as you can see you can work your way through very easy and fast and efficient to adjust your lighting situation your illumination of your object everything works here really fast and nice and in in real time so you get really nice glass effects and if you wanted to change the glass material to any other kind of material we can go to a glaze ceramic for example we can go to uh, gray rubber material. And again, everything is still interactive. You can move around your object. You can set up your scene in whatever way you want to set it up. And as well, you can see how the light plays with your material, how your material is illuminated and how everything looks like. So. It's a really fast, interactive way of working uh, with FireRender for GPU. And it's so great because you get this instant feedback. Let me just go back to Chrome. And we have the, the Chrome material back where we get our nice blurry reflections. So <clears throat> as I said, it's real time. It's really fast. It works interactive and you can even keep on working on your model as well. Let me just bring up the uh, hull of this object and I'll just turn off our scalpel modifier that uh, cuts away the thing and makes uh, clean cuts. And as you can see, we now have the full thing back. And if we wanted to look through to this material, we would just change out the hull to a, to a transparent material. And then you can see how nice you're able to look inside of this object. So it's a whole new way how you can work and keep on working with FireRender for GPU. And I hope you enjoyed this video and check out our other videos because I'll show more interactive features, more features you can use in FireRender for GPU.